Hello guys, welcome to my new channel, The Lace is More. So today I will discuss an editorial from the Hindu newspaper. The topic is all about the international relation between India and Bhutan. Because recently Bhutan kings visited India. So let's see what is the editorial. So the title of the editorial is Substance Subtext. So in this editorial there is substance and there is subtext. Subtext means there is an underlying theme of uh, underlying theme of Bhutan kings visited India. Why Bhutan kings visited India? <coughs> there there might be some sub core matter or, or there there will be a substance, but there is a subtext also like underlying theme by the Bhutan king had visited India recently. So let's see in the editorial itself. Bhutan king's visit sought to enhance cooperation and allay fears. Bhutan's fifth king, Jigme Khesar Namgel Wangchuks, this is the name of the Bhutan king's visit to India this week had both substance and subtext. After talks with after talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Draupadi Murmu, the joint statement detailed cooperation in many areas. India has agreed to support Bhutan's next development plans and extend additional standby line of credit. <coughs> so in <coughs> India is India has agreed to support what Bhutan's next development plans and extend extended additional standby stand lines of credit. Okay. Now the next is hydropower, which is the cornerstone of India-Bhutan ties, also received a boost with the government agreeing to consider what Bhutan is request for expand expediting long delayed projects. That was the first is Sankosh and the second is Punat Sanchu, right? So these two are river which is flowing in Bhutan. So there is a there will be hydropower power project on this both the river. <coughs> so but this project has been delayed. So <coughs> Bhutan has requested for expediting it. Okay. The another thing is. Revising upward the tariff on Chuka, the oldest project, and buying power from the Basoshu power project. <coughs> so, the India is purchasing electricity from this Chuka power hydropower project. Okay, so the Bhutan is requested to revise the tariff. Okay, and buying power from the Basoshu power project. So Bhutan has requested in the, to India that India should buy pro, buy power from the Vasuji power project. New infrastructure projects include an integrated checkpoint for truck at Jaigaon, a checkpoint for third list country nationals, and a cross border rail link from Pokhrajar to Gelepu. So these all are the detailed joint statement which has been made by the India and Bhutan. So and these are the focus areas on which the Bhutan and India will expand their partnership. Another thing is future partnerships could include what space research, scaling, startups and STEM education and also a new internet gateway for Bhutan in keeping with the Bhutan King's new transform initiative. So this Bhutanese King's uh, new vision what transform initiative. So in the future these areas can be included that is space research, scaling, startups and STEM education. 
moving ahead the bhutanese government is also worried about the number of bhutanese migrating overseas as youth unemployment in 2021 reached 21 percent india too needs to pay more attention to this brain drain by as in the past what bhutan's elite would have been educated in india so india stands to lose its edge in bhutanese policy making and public narrative so as the youth is going overseas for studying rather than coming to india so earlier bhutan's elite elite class would have been educated in india so if the elite class is, has been you know, educated in india then they might have slight inclination a friendly inclination towards india so <clears throat> it's called soft power so india is losing its edge in bhutanese policy making and public narrative and thus the projects outlined stand to benefit delhi and thimphu in keeping the talent within so these new projects <clears throat> which has been outlined will benefit delhi and thimphu that means india and bhutan in keeping the talent within so the soft power is much more of importance than any kind of hard power right <clears throat> so this would again give benefit or opportunity to india so that it can again gain the public narratives and can have a edge in the bhutanese policy making right however it is the visit subtext what after recent comments by bhutan's prime minister lote chering indicating progress in china bhutan boundary talks that must cause concern so recently bhutan's prime minister has uh, given an interview to an european paper that china bhutan boundary talks is progressing so that has caused a concern for india because india shares boundary with bhutan and china in the doklam region and which is a very sensitive area for india because it is very near to the siliguri corridor or or many times known as chicken snake right so moving ahead in an interview to a european paper he had said that bhutan and china hope to agree on demarcating their northern boundary dispute in the next one two meeting so bhutan and china hoping <coughs> for demarcating their northern boundary dispute in the next one or two meet meetings this must set alarm bells ringing as china has offered this demarcation as a part of a package deal with doklam which is the area near the tri tension with india and strategically sensitive given its proximity to india's siliguri corridor so <clears throat> this this much has set an alarm bell ringing as a sign of danger right why because china has offered this demarcation as a part of package deal with doklam so china has offered that offered to bhutan that we will agree on this demarcation if we would have been given a major part on the doklam issue right so th that might be a package deal i'm not saying that it's it is but it might be a kind of package deal which china has offered to bhutan right <clears throat> so while bhutan is clear that all talks about the tri junction would be trilateral india's concerns extend to any change in the area surrounding it so there needs to be a full clarity on the issue from the very starting bhutan is very clear about this tri junction and it has said that <clears throat> the talks about this tri junction would be trilateral but india's concern extend to what any change in the area surrounding it right 
because this packet deal which has been offered is a northern boundary dispute with uh, India and sorry China and Bhutan. So India is having concern about that the Bhutan Bhutan might not give an edge to China over the Doklam issue, right? So there is any change in the surrounding area, it's a cause of concern for India. New Delhi must also not allow hyper-nationalism and its antagonism with China to pressure Bhutan. So New Delhi should not pressure Bhutan with by using hypernationalism or its antagonism with China, right? You cannot say to Bhutan that don't uh, don't have a deepened ties with China, but you can have a deepened ties with Bhutan, right? <clears throat> India's time-tested ties with Bhutan have been predicated or Established on not seeing each other in terms of the difference in the size, but in counting each country's prosperity as a win win for both. So, time and again, India, there is a time tested tie with Bhutan, which, uh, which is what India is always trying. So, these ties have been established on what? They not see each other in terms of the difference in the size, right? But in counting each country's prosperity as a win win situation for both, right? So, more importantly, they have always anticipated the other's interest before taking any step that could affect their long cherished partnership. So, what is the time tested? ties with Bhutan, they have always anticipated the other's interest before taking any step that could affect their long cherished partnership. So if Bhutan is taking steps with the China or Bhutan is or India is taking any step with China, so they have keep a Bhutan in a loop before taking any step so that they have India and Bhutan is uh, seeing that uh, by taking any step, their partnership or their friendship should not affect, right? So this was all about today's editorial. <laughs> if there is nothing, anything, uh, so major that that is more important, but uh, this. These projects can uh, we can have a look on these projects. There might be question on these uh, river Sankosh and Unat Sanchu and Chuka, right? And this cross border rail link from Kokraja to Gelepu, right? And there is a checkpoint at Jaigaon. Okay. So this was all in this uh, editorial, right? Okay, thank you guys. Signing off for the day. Bye bye. Good night.